This black and white image of the Earth Moon system was captured on September 25, 2017, by Osiris Rex's NAVCAM 1. At the time this image was taken, the spacecraft was 804,000 miles 1,297,000 kilometers from Earth, and 735,000 miles 1,185,000 kilometers from the Moon. Credit NASA Goddard University of Arizona NASA's Osiris Rex spacecraft now has some nice photos of home to look at during its long flight to a distant asteroid. Osiris Rex took a picture of the Earth-Moon system on Monday, September 25th a few days, after performing a gravitrucist flyby of our planet that boosted its speed and helped set its course toward the 1,640-foot-wide 500-meters asteroid Bennu. The probe was 804,000 miles 1.297 million kilometers from Earth and 735,000 miles 1.185 million kilometers from the Moon. When it captured the black and white image, NASA officials wrote in a description Thursday, September 28. Osiris Rex NASA's asteroid sample return mission in pictures also on Thursday, the agency released a shot of Earth that Osiris Rex took September 22, the day of the flyby, from a distance of 69,000 miles 110,000 kilometers. The image has been rotated so that Earth's north pole is located at the top and the Baja Peninsula is visible above and to the right of center, NASA officials wrote in an image description. Cloud cover and the Pacific Ocean dominate most of the image, but Hurricane Maria and the remnants of Hurricane Jose can be seen in the far upper right portion of the image, off the east coast of the United States. Osiris Rex took both of the newly released photos with its navigation camera. On Tuesday, September 26, NASA released a color image of Earth that the spacecraft captured on flyby day using its map cam camera. During the flyby, Osiris Rex zoomed a mere 10,711 mile 17,237 kilometers above Antarctica. The maneuver increased the probe's speed by 8,451 miles per hour 13,601 kmh, NASA officials said. The first image taken by NASA's Osiris Rex spacecraft after completion of its Earth gravity system maneuver on September 22, 2017 crop to show in greater detail the spacecraft's view of Earth from 69,000 miles 110,000 kilometers. Credit NASA Goddard University of Arizona The $800 million Osiris Rex mission, whose name is short for Origins, Spectral Interpretation, Resource Identification, Security Regolith Explorer, launched in September 2016. If all goes according to plan, the spacecraft will rendezvous with Bennu in late 2018, then study the asteroid from orbit for more than 18 months. In July 2020, the probe will snag at least 2.1 ounces 60 grams of material from the asteroid surface A return capsule containing the sample will come back to Earth, making a parachutiated landing in the Utah desert in September 2023. Scientists around the world will then study this asteroid material, analyzing it for clues about the solar system's early days and the role that dark, primitive asteroids such as Bennu may have played in seeding Earth with the carbon containing building blocks of life. Follow Mike Wall on Twitter at Mitchell Dwall and Google. Follow us at Space.com, Facebook, or Google. Originally published on Space.com.